Hi, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. Today I'm going to give you an overview of how to prime your tankless pressure pump. While I'll be specifically talking about the tankless pressure pump, these same steps apply to almost any surface pump that needs to be primed before usage. If you don't know what our tankless pressure pump is, there's videos in the description below that go over a summary of it and frequently asked questions. Almost all surface pumps, including the tankless pressure pump, need to be primed before usage. That means we need to get a majority of the air out of the system and fill the chamber with water. That allows the propellers inside to really grab onto the water, evacuate the air, and achieve a good prime full of water with no air bubbles in it. There are two main conditions for that. One is positive pressure priming and the other is suction. For suction, that means we're sucking water up and out of the water source, whether it's a cistern, shallow water well, or tank. The second condition is positive pressure. That's where we have a pump down below the water source, and the water source itself will push the water through the pipe. I'm going to go through both of these conditions and how to prime for each. I'm going to go over the suction case. That's where we're sucking water up and out of the storage tank into our booster pump up here. On the other end, we'll need either a check valve or what's called a foot valve. We have two examples here. Here's an inch and a quarter check valve, and here's a foot valve. The main difference between a foot and a check valve is the addition of the strainer. If you're pumping clean water, you don't need a strainer. If you're pumping water from dirtier water sources like a pond, then you definitely want a foot valve because it includes the strainer. These are one-way valves that allow water to come into the hose, and when we're no longer pumping, it keeps the water from flowing out and maintaining our prime. If you don't have a foot valve, air can enter the system and water can flow out. We'll lose our prime and have to start all over again. Suction case is the harder one in order to get prime. There are a couple of tools that will help you if you have your priming screw on the side of the pump versus the top. One is just a quick little paper funnel. Just fold up the paper, stick it in our priming port, and pour water in. The other option is a simple siphon. It's a little pump one end goes in the water, the other end goes into the priming port, and we can fill our tube with water. These siphon pumps are available at most big box stores and hardware stores for a couple of dollars. So I have my extra water source located here. We're going to need this in order to pump water from here into our system. First, we're going to remove the priming port cover. In this case, it's just a little screw. And then using our siphon pump, we're going to start pumping water from our water source into our pump. In this case, we're just going to use a piece of paper that I've rolled into a nice simple funnel in order to prime the pump. First, we need to remove the priming screw. Fill the system up with water. We're going to want to keep filling it until the entire line fills up and we get water out of our priming port. If you have a long suction hose, say you're pulling out a shallow well, that may be up to 15 feet, which is a maximum suction for this pump, it could take a couple of gallons of water in order to fill it all up. Using our funnel or siphon kit, we're able to fill up priming port completely until water starts coming out of the priming port. Then we're going to replace our priming port screw. We want to make sure it's nice and snug so we don't introduce any air into the system when we start pumping. Great, from here all we need to do is turn our pump and if it's properly primed, it should start sucking up water and we'll see it come out of the discharge. From here our pump is now powering up and if we've done a good job, we'll see some water come out. There we go. If it takes a second, it's starting to evacuate all of the air from the system. And then we'll start to see... And there we go, we've done a good job. You see that as soon as it evacuated all the air, it really grabbed onto the water and now we're achieving our 20 to 30 gallons per minute. All of them off of our tankless pressure pump, which is powered off of two batteries 
and two solar panels. So those are the basic steps in order to prime our pump with suction kits. The good news is, once we prime it the first time, since we've installed that foot valve, that one-way valve at the bottom, no air will be introduced to the system when we turn it off. That means we no longer have to prime the pump again. Every time it turns on, there's no air in the system and it'll start right up. Achieving prime in the positive pressure case is definitely much easier. In this condition, our water level is above where the pump is at, even if the pump is at the same ground level as the tank. We're going to get the positive pressure from this water, it's going to flow through our lines, and it's going to automatically prime our pump. So it's very similar. We want to remove our priming screw, make sure our water tank is on, and you'll see positive pressure quickly gets all the air out of the system. Put our priming screw back in. And just like that, we've achieved prime. We can turn on our pump again. And show that all the air is removed from the system and it starts right up. The positive pressure case is definitely much easier in order to achieve prime. And the best news is it's basically impossible to lose prime again. We're always gonna have pressure from our tank, keeping all of the air out of our line. Anytime the pump starts up, we can have no problem uh, running. So there you have it. Very simple ways in order to achieve prime, whether you're doing suction or positive pressure for your surface pump. These instructions are the same whether you're using our tankless pressure pump or basically any other surface pump on the market today. I can't say enough about this tankless pressure pump system and the amount of water it produces off of only two batteries and two solar panels for your complete off-grid water pressure solution. If you need your system, give us a call at 888-637-4493 or visit us at rpssolarpumps.com.